Hi, my name is Alejandro Yegros. I'm the maker of Conjuguemos, and this is a tutorial on Conjuguemos 2.0, uh, uh, which is being released in the fall of 2018. And it's going to focus on the gradebook for the teacher. If you just want to skip around and have certain questions answered, I indexed this video at the comments area so you can just skip around to whatever you want. Okay, let's get started. So the grade book is the place where you receive all your grades that your students pressed record score on. So it's very important to keep in mind you only get the grades when the student presses record score. And the types of grades that you get are vocabulary, grammar, which are fill in the blank activities basically, flashcard grades. This is not really a grade. Here you just get the amount of time that the student spent on it. Uh, verb activities and listening activities. You get those five types of grades. If you click on any grade except for the um, flashcard grades, you get what's called the details view. So I'm going to click on this uh, Por Para activity right here. I click on it and as you can see I get the answers that the student gave. Uh, green for correct, red for wrong. So if you want to go over uh, something with the student you can go over it with the details view. Uh, the details view for vocabulary and verbs looks a little different. I'm going to look here, filter for a particular student I have named Bullock who did a lot of vocabulary. So if I click on this first activity that she did here, the details view is pretty good for comparing now to the rest of the class to see how people are doing. This graph shows how she, her grade is right now, how she's averaged over this activity over time because she's done this activity many times. And then it shows how the rest of the class did. So as you can see, she's done a lot better than the class has. And down here, you have another way of looking at it, uh, comparing how she did in the first 80% of attempts versus the last 20. This is basically a way of showing, is she getting better over time? And she did improve 16% over the amount of time that she's done this activity. So it's another nice little detail. Um, if you want to, uh, by the way, if you just want to uh, go through the details really quickly, you can use this arrow to, uh, to scroll through them. Okay, now I'm going to talk about how to filter and search your grades because you're going to be getting a lot of grades. And most teachers, what they do is they just filter for a specific type of grade and then they print it really quickly and then they're done. Most teachers don't spend a lot of time on this gradebook. Just get in here, get what you want, print it out. So this area up here is designed to get let you get what you want and print it out as quickly as possible. So you already saw this area right here. This is where you search by last name and then it just shows you that student. You can filter by activity type. You can filter by class and you can also filter by date and you can combine them. And then also you have this area which is recent grades basically of certain activities. So for example, if I click on this one, present tense, present stem changing verbs, uh, then it's going to filter for just grades for that activity. Uh, so I'm going to get uh, uh, this flashcard grade and this verb grade for that activity. And I could print those out by clicking on print grades. And the last thing I'm going to mention if, is how to do settings on the gradebook that you might really want to do at least once. And this gear icon right here, it's the settings. You click on it, you're going to see two settings. Disable email grades and set time zone. By default, every time a student records a score, that grade is emailed to you as well. Some teachers really like that, and some teachers don't want to be flooded with emails. So if you want to, in my case, I have it enabled, but if you want to disable it, you just click here, and there you see the setting for email grades. You can enable it or disable it, and then you click Submit to save that setting. And then the other setting that you have here is set time zone. It also takes you to the settings page. And here you can set the time zone. So I have it set on Eastern Standard Time, but I could do Central. And if you change Central uh, and you change the setting, you go back to the gradebook. And now all of the times for the gradebook are being uh, shown in Eastern and Sun. Sorry, in Central Standard Time. So this was a tutorial for Conjugamos Gradebook and Conjugamos 2.0. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.